Hello and welcome to DOTV Podcast. We are the Defenders of the Veil. We, it is Sunday night, which means we are delving back into the Dungeon of the Mad Mage. I am not alone. I've got some people with me. Um, so let's see. First up, why not uh, Nifty? Lewis, introduce yourself. Lewis, Jedi for life. <laughs> um, I am the Mad Mage. Well, not the Mad Mage of the campaign, but I'm the Mad Mage. All right. Next, we've got Stevo. I am Horus, the Lightfoot Apple. I am a rogue. And, the- and greetings. And you know, it didn't, didn't occur to me to introduce myself. I am DM Ron. I am not the Dungeon Master, but you know who is? This guy right here, Yavin. 99, the D1. Hey, what's going on, peeps? I'll, I'll get the directions figured out eventually. All right, so yeah, we are returning to the Mad Ma- uh, the Dungeon of the Mad Mage. So I suppose we're going to need to uh, see that, if I can find the right thing. There we go. And, yeah. So, go ahead, take us away, David. I've been asked a question about what happens and he loses control over an undead and tries to regain it later and i'm looking at the Yeah, that potion of long rest came in handy, helped us win, but <laughs> it can also kill the whole party in the second. That's fair. Nifty looks nifty down there. Doesn't he though? You guys like those character cards down in the in the in the bottom? That way. Yeah. If you had paused slightly, it would have had a different meaning. Nifty looks good down there. <laughs> well, thank you. Okay, so the ruling on the on animate dead having lost control over uh, undead and trying to regain it. You cannot use the animate dead spell to do it. You necromancers get a level fourteen ability that lets them do it to reassert control to assert control over an existing undead. And what I was reading is the other possible co- idea is to, to to get control over them again is once they regain their own free will of being undead and they're not under your control, you beat them up, put them at zero hit points, and then use that corpse again to reanimate them. Yeah, but they turn to ash once once they die. Well, at least that's how you've been doing it. Yeah, I've been doing it very Buffy the Vampire Slayer.
I would allow you to not destroy them and turn them to ash if you said that the the last stroke the the last hit is a subduing blow or non lethal blow. Thanks for stopping by Moose. Moose Lurk. So do I so know just like, just like attacking NPCs you decide to do non lethal blows to not kill them? You could do the non-lethal blow to not kill the undead too. Okay. Do I know? Or to re-dead the undead. Yeah. Do I know that drinking that potion, I'm going to be falling asleep within 24 hours for a week? Or is this going to be a total surprise? Make an arcana check. Because I just want to see how bad uh, the party is screwed. I guess we might as well just write, make up new characters now. Why? You have a cleric with you that can turn on dead. That's true. I had enough level to where he go boom to him. Is it destroy now? Um. Depends he's not going to be able CR. to destroy. He's not going to be able to destroy him, but he'll be able to frighten him and make him run away. Well, but I have. But if I don't know, which with my roll, hopefully I do. Rolled an eighteen. Because if I don't know, I'm going to be creating even more. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what I mean. <laughs> I'm going to say that you know. Okay. Yay, logistics. And telling you right now, the best time to take him down is now. He has never been this low. And you can always just tell him to submit. You could always lock him in the cage you're standing in front of. Well, yes, but I can't regain control over him. That was the... Sure you can. You can pepper him from outside the cage with different shit. Right, speaking of, you guys want to let me out of this cage? I don't have a voice. Yeah, can you let us out? As one of the happens, pipes up. No! Wait. I mean, yes! Horace goes over and performs the duty. Horace said duty. <laughs> so how are you unlocking the cage? Um, I check it for traps. And I guess, are there any? I'm still poisoned, so I guess that's a 12. Yes, that is a 12. You do not find any traps. All right, what do I, I 
I have momentarily forgotten what I rolled to pick it. Dex? Thieves tools. Ah, there we go. Picking it. I would like to remind you there are two dead drow laying right outside the cage. Yeah, well. Ignoring the possible location for a key. <laughs> I make my own keys. I'm a rogue. <coughs> you gotta actually walk over to the cage there, buddy. Uh, I can't tell. So, okay. With the 25, you successfully picked the lock. And then I search the bodies. <laughs> In searching the bodies, you find the key to the cage. And that's it? Damn. I nudged him with a toe and said, you should ask for a raise. So, where are you guys going? Yeah, can I uh, exit the cage? Yes, I'm stuck <laughs> behind the wall. I'm going to have to move you to the other side because they made the dynamic lighting for the bars individual. I figured as much. The bars wouldn't... I don't know why they would do that with the bars. It's not like they would really block that much line of sight. I mean, those are pretty thick bars, I guess. I had to make the bars huge to be able to grab them to pull them out. <laughs> So, we would like to introduce ourselves. We are the sing-alongs. A famous halfling band from Dragon Bank.
They're quite catchy after, uh, you know, you get used to it. My name's Destin, by the way. Thanks for uh, getting me out of there, guys. Well, our best hit is is Halfling Band. So what are you guys doing down here? We're on a peace mission. We're going around freeing prisoners. At least that's what we've been doing. Perfect. Horace pulls the octobase out of his uh, bag of holding and says, can anybody play this? Showing it to the band. What are you showing them? The octobase, remember the guy was hiding inside of it and I put it in my bag of holding. Oh yeah. After the guy came out, of course. No, 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 let's play the octobase. He puts it back in the bag of holding. Pity that. Do you play it? Nah, I just found it along the way. Let some old guy out of it and took it as compensation. So, are you rescuing us, or what's going on? We're freeing you. That doesn't necessarily imply rescue. Hmm. Well, sure it does. And on top of that, like, uh, I was adventuring through here with some other people, but, um... Yeah, I seem to have misplaced my party. Perhaps you could join with our crew. Possibly. You look, uh, you look kind of injured there, friend. Yeah, it was a hard fight, but we finally prevailed. Interesting, interesting. Y you're there. Hey, David, how long does this poison last? An hour. Uh, okay. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. Oh. I was like, I kept on talking, and then everybody was over talking over me. I'm like, are they not coming through? We're just very rude. That reminds me of the session I played the entire uh, half the session, and nobody could hear me. Uh, yeah, no one. You must. It wasn't coming through. Luckily, luckily it was in combat, so I just kind of pinged my target and made my rolls. I was like, if they're not going to listen to anything I have to say anyway, I'll just do it this way. Okay. I'll slip. Uh... So at the end of last session, I had said how the king is gathering all the bodies. So I figured we would loot them now that the people are free. And I had also said while he was pickpock while he was picking the lock, I had picked up the keys and was holding it back behind him, going la 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 la. But anyway, that's all done. Uh, Horus regains twenty one HP. Thank you so much, kind sir. Yeah, you're welcome. Yes, yeah, sure, sir. Uh. Yes, quite. He doesn't do the crocodile Dundee maneuver. 
that's not healing. This is healing. So, would you like to take us back to the surface? Um, no. You could tag along with us. Hey, Nifty. As long as, Louis, as, long as you're reasonably stealthy. Louis, you could have your zombies escort them back to the surface. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. So I create four more <laughs> zombies and will escort them up to the surface. That's so, just kind of unleashing undead into the the dungeon. Yes, after they kill these guys before they get up to the top, because it'll take more than, you know, 24 it'll hours. It'll take more than 24 hours to get there. <laughs> these may be my distant cousins. <laughs> Well, that was completely out of character. <laughs> yeah, it's me too. Ah, uh, I, I, I know, uh, Small friends, I, I had no intentions of returning to the surface just yet. I can't speak for these fine folk that uh, freed us from this cell, but... Uh, yeah, like like, like uh, the other one said, like that one said... Uh, I don't remember if you told me your name. Um, you're, you're free to follow along. I think I'll follow along. Uh, but I'm... If you're planning on returning to the surface, I think that might be your own endeavor. If we go up back up there by ourselves, we'll die. Okay, then you can go down with us. That way, if you die... I can raise you back and you can be an undead band. You know, they were just about to take you up on that offer until you put that in there. We're going to have to discuss this. Yeah, I don't know exactly how I feel about that either. I mean... There's a band already out there already. I mean, so I guess you guys wouldn't be the first because, you know, there's that one band called the Grateful Dead. See? Oh, God damn it. You should be grateful. I thought it was the Grateful Undead. Well, one of those guys. So what do we find on the dead bodies of all these uh, lovely morsels of dead things? I'm gonna, I'm gonna lesser restoration on myself. I don't have that in my bar. Yep, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna cast Lesser Restoration on myself. While searching the bodies, you find a potion of superior healing.
You should be able to upcast that and affect more than one creature. I know, right? Realize Horus was poisoned too. I'll, I'll, since since they rescued me, I'll I'll cast it on Horus as well. And be out of second level slots, but that's okay. No, oh, I'm home. <laughs> Thank you. I feel much better. And Horace and um um Holy Duke. Um I bet I not very good with names. But um if you're gonna be going with us, I have to state one thing and uh, I mean it's good and bad at the same time. Um during that battle that <laughs> was all oh, out of spells. Um and I had this potion and I was like, you know, I could take this potion and get my spell slots back. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to do that so I can kill these things. Well, the issue with that is <laughs> in 24 hours, I'm going to sleep for um, a week or so, um, which is good. I need some sleep. You know, I mean, I'm looking a little, you know, under the weather. But the uh, bad thing is, I point to... Uh, the king. Um, I won't be able to regain control of him and he will attack and kill you guys. I see. I have a possible solution. Go on. We, we can re identify him and it might be good to do it, you know, before he's. You know, um, alive. I mean, before he no, note, he will defend himself. Oh yeah. Yeah, but um, you know, we need to make him dead again, but not uber dead, just dead. And then whenever I wake up, I can bring him back. Cause he's like he's one of my favorites. He's like really, really good. He's the party stink. He's a party tankard. Hmm. Oh, that's fine with me. As long as uh, you know, as long as I don't have to worry about it turning on us. Or else I'll have to turn it. Hey-o. Hey, King, can you go in there and um, grab that thing off the back wall? He's over there looking at the back wall. Yeah, he does whatever you tell him to do. Mm-hmm. And before everybody gets out, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> thought about it but no and then we shut the gate do I need to put the waters back no I don't put them back it would have just been funny um and I can't I, I, I can't you know don't don't dead dead them just you know dead them I can't do it myself. And I'm going to close the gates. Okay, are we rolling initiative? I think we're rolling initiative. Yeah, let's roll initiative. Oh boy.
As you can tell, my heart's not into it. Now you're on there twice. Hmm. Oh, I didn't have the initiative order up, and he rolled, so I didn't think it would roll for him. So as soon as you attack him, he will be attacking you. That's fair. And the gates are closed. AC 11 is going to miss. All right. Uh, I'll step back a step. It's my ringtone. My phone was sitting immediately underneath the microphone. Okay. Actually, the microphone was sitting on the phone. You said that we could... Uh mark our own turn done? How do we do that? Or maybe I was just mishearing. There it goes. Thank you. He's going to move up and attempt to smash his way through the bars. That's going to be option A. And he's going to rage because that's what he does. So you hear him go, and he runs up. Successfully slamming his maul into the bars, dealing 23 points of damage to an inanimate object that is immune to bludgeoning damage. Perfect. So there is a loud ding as the ball hits the steel of the bars. With his second action, he's going to swing again. He will rethink his plan next round. And another loud ding, because I don't know how you miss, but he did not hit the AC for an inanimate object. All right. Actually, to do this a fair way, I'm going to give him a wisdom check at the end of every one of his turns. And when he passes the wisdom check, he'll come up with a new plan. Does that sound fair? Because he's kind of dumb. Sounds good to me. And he gets a four. <laughs> so next round, he's going to be beating the crap out of the, the bars again. He could really easily break out of here if he used a different plan. All right, well, I'm gonna go with a word of radiance. Oh wait, is that what the one I want? No, that's not the one I want. It is the one I want. Okay. Ooh. 
Going to make the barbarian do a con save. Oh, there it is. Oh, I was gonna control the king while you guys were killing the king. Either way, he makes the save. Yep. So, uh, nothing happens. No with damage. That. So it is a trip. I believe all cantrips are save or suck. Pretty much, yep. But, I guess Destin will get out of the way then. Even though he's not in anybody's way, but... That's Magoo. Uh, yeah, no, that's gonna be it. I'm not gonna... You know what, fuck it. I can as an action. I'll spiritual weapon him. That's a bonus action, rather. Since I did a cantrip yep. action. We're gonna be casting it though. Fuck it, I'll cast it at 4th level so that I get the extra d8 damage. And I gotta bring out this token, right? Where'd it go? Yeah, I haven't played with the thing to bring out the tokens for us. That's alright. So I'm, right I'm not here. even sure it's going to work with how I have the token set up. That's fine. It, it it won't. It won't bring out the token that you have made. It, it won't bring one that's uh. linked. Yeah. But anyways, there it is on them. Uh, What's your wisdom? 17. My wisdom is a plus four it's 18 and what's your proficiency bonus plus four but i've got a uh here i know what you're getting at amulet of the devout Okay. But yeah, so that's a seventeen to hit the king. Yeah, I'm just making sure when you click on the spiritual weapon attack macro, because there's an attack macro on the spiritual weapon token. Oh. So it doesn't. St yeah. So click on the spiritual weapon token. See in the top left corner where it says spiritual weapon. Uh huh. If you if you click that. It will make the attack and not take away from your spell slots. Okay. Wonder if it'll give off I the right I cheated it. Ah. Uh, okay. I see. It'll let me put it at the right level at least. Oh <clears throat> uh, no, it won't because. Uh, or it, it expended a spell slot when I did it. To roll the damage it, for it. It, it. it expended one of the spiritual weapon token spell slots. Do it again. Wait, I see. Oh, that's right. I now roll that. damage again. Yep, that's why it wasn't popping up. So, See, I um, told it, I told it, it you, the spiritual weapon token has 99 fourth level soul slots, so I don't have to keep going in there and adjusting soul slots. Uh, well, technically you wouldn't have to on the spiritual weapon, you just let it be at zero. It's true, but I don't like the big red sign that says all soul slots is expended, and I'd rather the 99 be there and all that, so... I know that you're using the token and not burning up your own soul slots and making sure we're doing it right. And 
You get what I'm saying? Because some yep. players mess it up. And you also have an ability that adds to the damage, don't you? Yeah. Or, no, it doesn't. Is it something else? I don't think I do. I mean, not with spiritual weapon. Divine Strike, does that apply to spiritual weapon damage too? No. It's only weapon attacks and okay. cantrips. Okay, so you're, the spiritual weapon token is set up for you now. Well, that, uh... It was originally set up for, like, Kim's character or something like that, so every time somebody's played a cleric, I've had to uh, edit it. Okay. Well, it was initially a, uh, 17 to hit. And if it hit, it did 14 force damage. Seventeen's gonna miss. Alright, well then I can go up and click the right there it is. Nifty, it's your go. Nifty's not doing anything. Apparently no. What are you doing, horse? Yeah, he just said he's not coming through again. I see that. I will move away get, from the bird. It's, it's not game night without tech problems. AC 13 is going to miss. All right. Um, that's. Pick King Maylar is going to take two more swings at the bars and then make a wisdom, say, wisdom check to see if he's smart enough to figure out this isn't working. Nope, still dumb. That's fair. I wasn't... The DC to figure out this isn't working is 10. So I figured... Well, he doesn't really get a 50-50 shot because he's got the minus one. But I figured he'd be smart enough not to bang his head for too long. We're going to bonus action spiritual weapon attack. Ugh, damn, that's only a nine to hit, so no, no bueno on that. And then I will, uh, uh, word of radiance. There it is. DC 17 con save on the king. And if he 
fails, he'll take 20 radiant damage. He's failed. Yeah. He's gonna take 20 wow. non-lethal radiant damage. It non-lethal. That was the deal, is you have to do non-lethal. How is radiant damage? I know spells no, normally are not. Okay. I know. Okay. <laughs> if yes. Alright then. As long as it knocks down the HP so we can bring him out, alright. Yep. Because he's now at zero, so yes. Yeah, but he's got undead fortitude. Wait, wait, wait. That's right. Well, one, uh, he takes half of that anyway. I forgot about that part. Yeah, because he's bare totem. So he's only going to take 10. I don't want to do it. Oh, all right, I guess that'll be. It for Destiny. Am I coming through at all? Yes. Yes. yes we hear you now. Yep. Okay, I don't know what's going on, why it's not doing it. But I don't want to do it, but you guys are just torturing him. I'm going to tell the dead. Oh, man, wisdom save. Yeah, he sucks at those. Yeah. Actually, he's actually pretty good for it. No, he's going to take the damage. Half of 15. So is that going to be 8 or is that going to be 7? <laughs> Round up. <laughs> so he's at 0, so now Undead Fortitude. Are we... Reckless Rage! Oh, Reckless Rage, so... Roll his, uh, con save, then. Con save. He's still up. Or Relentless Rage. Yes. So are we going to be just using the Relentless Rage part of this, or are we going to be using Undead Fortitude part? Well, as soon as the Relentless Rage stops working, then it'll trigger the Undead Fortitude. <laughs> okay. He basically gets one more you or... Yeah, he's going to be hard to actually get at zero. I know. That's why I don't want to actually kill him because he's kind of curious to see how hard it is to get him at zero this one will be a dc 15 then dc 20 then dc 25, 25. i wonder if there's a relentless rage back hey thanks for the work uh sparkles mandy worky work Horses go. Fire another arrow. Okay, I guess I took him. Twenty one to hit. Yep. Con save DC 15. Made it. Still up. Sorry, I forgot to end my turn. Wisdom check to figure out and do something else. 
Okay, so he, so he knows to do something else. Forcing the gate open requires a successful DC 25 athletics check. Oh, he's not going to be able to do this as easily as I thought. But I believe he has advantage because he's it's a strength check. Yep. And he's raging. Which he makes it because he's raging. Horus being the last one to hit him, he's going to run up to Horus. But he used his action to get out. I... Action, I can move the spiritual weapon 20 feet. How convenient. I'll go ahead and attack the king. Maybe. I clicked it. We'll see. Ah, only 13 to hit. That's going to miss. Destin will go ahead with the word of radiance. There it is. A DC 17 con save for the king. If he fails, he'll take 13 non lethal radiant damage. And Dustin is going to wisely back away Ooh, he failed it. Ooh, he failed it. Oh, nice. DC Can't 25. DC 20. Yeah, no, it's DC 25. It's 20 this time. No, yeah, no mind. Wait, we are at 20. Sorry. Wow. Then failed it. So now the undead fortitude. I'm checking undead fortitude real quick. Just to be sure. <laughs> <coughs> unless the damage, unless the damage is radiant or from a critical hit. It's radiant damage. So he doesn't get his undead fortitude. If if damage reduces a zombie to zero hit points, it, it must make a Constitution saving throw DC equal to five plus damage taken, unless the damage is radiant or from a critical hit. On a successful zombie, drops the one or less. So critting on it or doing radiant damage bypasses the undead fortitude and he is subdued all right first breathes a sigh of relief yeah no okay. shit Can you imagine him at full health I'm trying to do that. No, thank you. I'm just checking something. Hey, cool. Check it out. I added the description into the save. So it reminds you. Cool. And I'm gonna cap. I'm gonna put radiant and critical hit in all caps. Oh. 
All right, so you have subdued him. Now what? <laughs> Oh, we need to finish checking these bodies and seeing what, what all is on here. Something in this room is going to be worth some money. I already told you, you found a potion of superior healing. Oh, that just sounds like pretty lame for a big old room full of... They intended you to sneak through the room and not fight your way through the room. Well, it is what it is. So this big thing in the center here is a thing. We haven't actually got to it yet, but now I need to tell you about it. It is a fountain. With eight statues representing the drow pantheon. Cracked tiles spanning out from the fountain form a web-like mosaic on the floor. It seems to be supplied with an endless supply of fresh water. They take oh crap out here. Okay, use him. Um, hey Horace. Yes. Um that looks very refreshing. Can you take a drink of it? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about that. Okay, half playing band. Um it looks very refreshing. You want a drink? No, I think I'll pass. You're a halfling band? Cool. What, what instrument do you play? You no, we're not, we're... Yeah, we'll drink out of it. Probably holy water or something. Probably. You'll be blessed. And, you know, one of the little halflings takes a drink out of it. Yes. And goes, oh, that was really good. Oh, I'm glad. Check to make sure he's all right. Insider medicine. Can I do that? Did he have any wounds before he drank? What are you doing, Ron? I want I want to make sure he's actually okay after drinking the water so, like, with like insider medicine or something. Yeah, make a medicine check. Twenty-two. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah. What is he? Was he injured before? Before he drank? No. Uh, Horace will now go and drink a little bit. Horace drinks the fresh water. And it is really good and yummy. But I don't feel better, like, from my... No, you don't feel any better. All it's right. Good, clean water. 
Can Horus determine where it issues from? So with a 21, or if he has advantage, a 21, or if he has disadvantage, a 21. What are you investigating? To see where the water comes from. Thinking maybe it's a magic item that we could fetch. It seems to be uh, fed by a natural spring. Nah, I guess we can't seal that. Okay. This chick's ugly. Talking about Ron's character? No, I'm talking about uh, that statue. That's just really. Okay, hmm. so we... we. That's what I was gonna say. What are we gonna do? I mean, because you know, I'm gonna be sleeping for a long, long time. Um, do we want to stay on this level where it's mostly like people are dead right now, or do we want to go down? into danger without a uh um a a king um protecting us well, i'm not too familiar with the layout down here so i'm not sure where you're gonna be sleeping for um, a while um guys yeah um this is... There's more drow around here. Yeah, I was gonna say, it doesn't seem safe. Maybe... Is there a way we can get, uh, get back to the skull port, maybe, or something? <laughs> way up there, I mean... That's... That's a long walk. Well, I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know the layout here. You, you guys have been exploring around, I think. Yeah, there's a bunch of doors and a bunch of places where there's things at, but um, I don't know any like secret places. Would a restoration cure the side effects of the uh, potion? It's a condition, isn't it? I believe that by condition they mean game mechanic conditions. Oh well. And we don't remember. Actually, we did find a secret room. And here, I'm just going to put the text in for greater restoration. Because it might be kind of a curse. 
I don't know. I'll allow a greater restoration to, to fix that. Alrighty, well then, yeah, I will cast greater Because it's a, it undoes a level of exhaustion and it says to undo a debilitating effect. Now, it does go on to list the debilitating effects that they intended to be used on, but... It doesn't specifically, it doesn't say only these. And by the spirit of the rules of fixing debilitating effects, I would think that it would fix that. Then Destin will go ahead and cast Greater Restoration on Nifty. <laughs> right I after wish we, I thought of this before we killed the king. Right <laughs> after we get done killing his... Mm-hmm. Wait, so you're telling me we did that to my friend and we didn't have to? Apparently, yes. To be fair, I had no idea if that would actually work or not. To be fair, you're not entirely sure it will. You're still not sure it will work or not. That's true. I mean, by by the light of the gods, it'll work, and we'll be able to continue on as normal. I guess we'll find out uh, in the morning. Oh, <laughs> I mean, my guys haven't really done anything for me, so <laughs> I don't trust that. Personality trait. I put no trust in the divine beings. <laughs> well then, friend, uh, perhaps, perhaps someday you, you've just, maybe you were blinded by the light. And now the song's stuck in my head. Indeed, me too. Yeah, I'm a dick. Uh, Ricky's not here. Why am I a dick when Ricky's not here? Uh, well, yeah, I suppose we'll have to see if that works. But you know of a place then, somewhere nearby, where we can rest? I mean, there's a uh, secret area, but I'm trying to remember exactly how to get to it. Wait a second, we can just go that way. Okay. Oh, so we haven't been this I way didn't even do, I didn't even do the doors on all of this level. I'm just like, okay, they're heading this way. I'm going to do the doors for this. And of course you guys decide to turn around and backtrack. Well, I mean, we need safety. I mean, this is a known secret door. I mean, the other one's probably a known secret door too, but but the ones for these, they use on a regular basis, I would presume. Did you even go in that room? Oh, wait, Never mind. I don't know about that one. So the one I'm thinking of with the statues I don't know why it was showing on my thing, but, but the one I'm thinking of is way up here
Yes, we. No, we used this one. To make our way down here. There isn't one there. There's not one here? No. So we must have used this one then. Because how else did we get down yeah, where we're would, at? You would have had to use that one. No, you went through the tunnels. Yeah, but the tunnels we had to... Yeah, you had to go through that secret door. So yeah, you yeah. went through that secret door. But one would assume that they know about that, so it probably wouldn't be very secure. But if we go this way and go up there, we can go through this door. And on, then on up to this thing. What thing? Uh, the statue room. Oh, the teleportation statues? Oh, where'd it go? So you can backtrack all the way to the teleportation statues? That's not Carol Sherwin. But that's what I was thinking. I mean, probably be the best place for us to... I don't want to. And think of a safer place. Well, while we figure out what we're going to do, this might be a good time for us to take a short little break here. So, we're going yeah. we're, we're gonna to take like a 5-10 minute break, guys. We will be back shortly, so don't go anywhere. Go ahead, Lewis. After these messages, we'll be right back. Bing!
Hello, thank you for waiting. We are back. And still in the dungeon of the Mad Mage. Where are we off to? Where are we headed, guys? Did we figure that out? I'll be right back. I'm going to grab something while you guys figure it out. Yeah, I figured it out. Um, and I am going to do something. That's it. Here we go. I'm back. Okay. Nifty takes a minute and actually creates four basic zombies to have them carry the king. Irony is, is you can use Animate Dead to reanimate the king to have the king back and three zombies. Well, I but could. I'd rather do it this way. <laughs> I could, but I'm. Or he says, I think it might work. I don't trust the gods, so I'm going to see if I fall asleep in 24 hours. <clears throat> oh, okay. Then I'm going to award you inspiration for not not a game. Oh, thank you. Okay, well, I'm going right this way, guys. And be very quiet. There may be some people here that we don't want to talk to. Uh, hmm. Well, I will try to be as stealthy as I can. And two of the zombies have the good armor on it, but we're not going to worry about putting the armor on them quite yet. Didn't want to have to carry it around. One of the zombies has the armor on him because the other one was was Ron's. No, I thought I had two zombies with the uh, armor. Yeah, but one of the armors was Ron's armor. No, I'm talking about the armors that they had on before we found anything else. Else. Yeah, you yeah. found two suits of armor. One was treasure that you found, and then the other one was Ron's. Oh, okay, I was thinking I found it earlier than that. Okay. I didn't see where everybody went. I've got too much lag. Yeah, it's really going cuckoo. You go up into the uh, double doors ahead of you, up top. Gotcha. And like right now, I'm still dancing. I don't know why I'm dancing. I have to right reload real quick. Yeah, me too. I can't click on anything. Which this is why I don't watch the streams because my computer bits. I'm not trying to do anything other than 
roll 20. The irony is, is the only thing I'm trying to do is roll 20. Is that where you're hiding now? Could I tell if this this secret door was gonna was a used a well used secret door? Can you tell if it's a recently used secret door? Yeah, I, you recently used it. Well, yeah. But I mean, like it's well traveled. Given by the smell in the in the room and the fact that you haven't closed the door, I would assume it's not well traveled. Well, we can try to. We're going to close this secret door. <laughs> And try to rest up in this room, if it will allow us to. that secret door. Oh, I thought we would have closed it behind us, but... Hello? What's up, Rib Rob? Up the rub. How do you like the, the rib? How do you like the layout? busy <laughs> what's in this room that we're in not the secret room but the one that Boris and everybody's in Sweet. what's in that room is a bunch of trash and deep debris and Stinky smelling and filth. Oh. <laughs> All right. We'll close. We'll, we'll make sure that the, that the secret door is closed, and we'll make sure that this door is closed, and we'll just hold up in here. Okay. So take your long rest.
we get a long rest. Ooh, three chargers on the Wanda Secrets. Well, that one wasn't used most recently. How Crap, you roll on my fireballs. Rib Rob wants to know how is everyone today? I am well. Thank you for asking. Prepare, preparing to kill the players, that's all. Happy to be here. What you're talking about, Rib Rob? He definitely has something all crazy figured out. Rib Rob is sure that I have some devious plans for the Dragonlance characters. Yeah, I was looking at Dragonlance the other day, and as soon as we hit the fifth, fifth level. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with nibs. Speaking of Dragonlance, I'm not sure how many people actually saw that, but uh, Joe Maganello is in the works of create, helping create a Dragonlance TV show. Mm. Cannot wait. I'm gonna get rid of hmm. Yeah. That one. Yeah, I did get uh some more things for Dragonlance. I added some new maps, some really beautiful maps uh, and I got a couple other DMs Guild supplements to uh, spice up our, our Dragonlance adventure a little bit more let's say like the Dragonlance module is pretty well written as far as like keeping the, the story moving but the Strixhaven one isn't because it's all big gaps. And when I was looking for all this stuff to help fill in the gaps of Strixhaven, that's when I started finding some of this stuff for Dragonlance. It's like, oh crap, we could probably we could play with some of this too. Cool. Uh, yeah. So after long rest. Um, you know, because I'm probably going to be falling asleep, you know, because, I mean, the gods, <laughs> they do not know what they're doing. Uh, sure, it'll be fine there, Nifty. Um, so is anyone, anyone hungry? Mm -hmm. uh, um, a little bit. I could eat, yes. Here, I'll do the... Create food and water. Mm. 
and then Destin doesn't have to worry about that ration. fills his water skin and anyone else's water skin with the with the water yeah I definitely follow suit on that one it was good yeah. just need, need a little salt that's all It is the gods must be crazy D and D edition. Um. So, uh, how much, how much longer what must we wait before we know if um, our friend here is going to be okay? Oh, it was 24 hours-ish, so, um, 10, 14 something hours. I see. Very well. I apologize if train is audible <clears throat> right Destin will go and we'll probably sit and like meditate pray to his deity since we've got time to kill it seems I guess we'll wait however long we have to wait to make sure Nifty will be okay. So you wait it out and you find out Nifty's fine. He's not sleeping a week away. Perfect. Yay! Alright then, where to next? Halfling band is still with us, eh? Yeah, your little halfling band's following you around. Alright. Now again, I'm not sure which way we must go, fellows. Uh... So where are you guys going next? Well, have we finished with this level? No. So where do you think we should explore next? I don't get a vote in that. Yeah, the problem is, is I don't I'm not sure where we've been yeah I can't see the map from where you guys have been I 
in that room with the fountain like did we uh go west of there at all i mean you have this you have this spot right here that you have drawn there's a hallway immediately to the left of you that you have. oh look nifty wandered off roll initiative All of us are just nifty. Uh, you might as well everybody roll because you're going to be able to hear what's going on. Oh boy. Waiting for Ron to roll. Yeah, I couldn't find my token because I had zoomed out of the map and and I tried to zoom back in and everything's all slow. There it is. Fifteen for Destin. Blues forgot for a minute that I am sneaky. <laughs> Like a mess. Just in the initiatives. What are you doing? Well, I don't know anything's up. I, I wouldn't have noticed that he'd wandered off because I didn't really. Hmm. So that's fair. So you're going to stand there and debate what the plan is next. Indeed. And the whole turn order disappeared. Yeah, for me too. 
Yeah. First, it repositioned itself, but tiny on the screen. And when I tried to put it back, it disappeared. Yeah, it did the exact same thing to me. I think maybe moving a token. Wrong. Oh, Rerolling initiative. Nifty, it's your go. We can't hear you, Nifty. Is just typing what he's doing, and then he stops typing. And then you're casting invisibility. What is the command you're giving when you're on death?
anything else? Actually, if you're done, click done. So Nifty came back and said, hey guys, we got bad dudes over here. So you guys know something's up. Okay. You do have one minor advantage here. The bad guys don't know you're entirely there yet. We have that going for us, which is nice. Which is nice. Is somebody attaining enlightenment? Is somebody doing what? Caddyshack. The Dalai Lama. Horus, it's your go. From what direction did I hear his <laughs> voice calling? South. Alright, well, I'll head that way. So, what's going on? Bad guys are going. I'm keeping track of the bad guys that know you're there and the ones that don't know you're there. So, it's taking them a second. It's Ronstrom. I turn to the 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 halfling band and it's like, all right, wait here, friends. It doesn't sound safe out there. And it doesn't, doesn't sound safe anywhere around here. That's a fair point. Let's
Well, I'm trying to move, but my token does not want to. see our nifty zombies I do not see the threat ahead um, sorry this is super laggy not really a whole lot I can do right bless I do, I do have bless. Do I have to touch though? Nope. Uh, up to three creatures of my choice within range. Yeah, screw it. I'll cast Which bless. Which three creatures are you picking? I'll cast bless on uh, myself, Horus, and Nifty. Thank you. You are welcome. Yeah, that's going to be... It. Yes, he does. He walked up. It for... for uh, Destin. I can remember my character's name. Oh, Nifty's invisible and Horus is stealth. You can't see the one of them. Well, he can see Horace because he's stealth sitting around the corner. Yeah, he's stealth right next to me. He's stealth right next to you, but he can't you see Nifty. Help. Yeah, I well, then I guess uh, it goes to Destin, Horace, and the the nearest halfling bard. You don't want to pick one of the zombies? Can I put it on a zombie? Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a creature, why not? Sure, give it to King Malar then. <clears throat> okay, so there's your three blessings. Alright. And yeah, then, then Dustin is done. are quite busy at the moment. For anyone wondering what's going on. 
see a lot of uh, enemy turns in the initiative order, so... We just have to guess. Hey, I think you see a bad guy move. Well, I don't. I'm assuming they're doing nothing because there's nothing to protect the body against. The first round of combat went by without a single attack roll hmm. on either side. Yeah, it doesn't tell me the range of the web. Hmm. There it is, 30 to 60. So the entire group of zombies are within range. So pick a zombie. I'm going to go with the one to the furthest to the south. I just noticed when when Lewis pulled out zombie tokens, they rolled hit points for them. Hmm. Don't they get bonus hit points for uh, 
being undead thralls. Yes, they do. And yeah, that's the downs the one downside with the monster hit dice API is any token. I'll have to make I'll have to do a to uh, a nifty zombie token. And yeah. Have the adjustments on them. Yeah. Maximum hit points is it increases by his wisdom. So they all get a love more headphones. Point up AC eighteen too. Mm. Which one of them is gonna be AC eighteen, the others are gonna be AC eight. So firing at one that's not in plate armor, it's going to hit AC-14, which is going to hit the zombie and web it. I'm going to say that this one is in plate. That way you got strong ones on either side of your formation. Okay, so that zombie is grappled. And you cut out on the audio. Of course you did. is having some technical issues with his discord this evening we are working to fix that as best as we can but in the meantime um, looks like he's moving away <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. going it's weird Before next session, for this fight, I'm going to turn it back on where they drag the cursor to the to the token, because the area you're fighting in is huge. Luckily, Roll20 is screwing up, and it's drawing a distance line from the last token to the new token. Actually, from a particular token to the token its turn it is. So at least I can look to where the line's going. Yeah. Hey, Lewis, we can hear you again. Yeah, I thought that was him. Hey, it's Horace's go. Uh, he's got an arrow pointing at me. He can't move anywhere. Oh. Um, just a second. That is a ridiculous distance. Did you see the number? Huh. No, I missed it before you got it. I didn't scroll that far. Well, it goes away all on its own. It's 354 feet from you to one of the tokens. That's what I'm saying. This is a huge area. Is 
Is that guy a foe? Red dots are foes. Yeah, the vision that Horus has makes everything so grayed out, I couldn't tell if that was a red dot or if it was part of the token. Hmm. And he's going to fire his short bow at that self same enemy. AC 14 is going to hit for six. Nice. He was stealth, he doesn't get. Uh, You came, around, you came around the corner and unstealthed yourself. Gotcha. What is the little bat thing that's on my... It means you're blessed. Oh, cool. All right. Oh, I forgot I can actually talk now. Roll a d4, Steve, and see if you get actually hit, because you're blessed. The AC-14 hit on its own. Oh, never mind. I forgot. Yeah, it did hit. I was just trying to be sneaky and couldn't, yeah. All right, I set it to automatically pull the map, so this should go easier for me and faster. But yeah, at the end of the round, we'll go ahead and... If, I mean, that's why I say that. In the round, we go ahead and call it for the night. Yeah, because your Discord sucks. My roll 20 is sucking. Yeah, I think everyone's roll 20 is sucking tonight. I had to task, go to task manager and force stop Discord to bring it back up again. And now it's working at least a little bit. Yeah, I know it's not OBS here. I've only got 81 drop frames tonight. That's essentially 0%. All right, sure, go. Go on. Okay. Sorry, you know, it's all moving so slowly. That's all right, everybody's moving slow. Okay. Oop. I missed it. Actually, after Ron goes, I'm good with stopping because then it's just a bunch of bad guys moving. I could do bad guys moving to help till I hit uh, one of the players' turns when nobody's around. That way we'll that expedite works. things. That's fine. All right. And I'll do it on a different night because obviously Roll 20 is crap tonight. And I don't think you guys want to sit here for another 15 minutes not doing anything. Right now I can't do anything. Um, oh, it's finally letting me, s maybe. I think it let me select my token. Like it. Of course, it's not letting me see anything yet. 
Oh, here we go. All right, I got a giant. Oh, As I was say, what's your vision? Yeah, my vision should be fine. It's just because of the lag. Um, so I have a giant spider in front of me with a red dot. I'm gonna go ahead and you know, just so that I I I I was just word of radiance it. Maybe. If it lets me click on it. Yeah, I clicked the. There it goes. <clears throat> DC 17 Constitution save for the giant spider. Spider gets a 13 and takes 15. Sweet. 15 radiant damage. Suck it. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna. You know, oh, well, shit. Maybe I better. We'll probably need it, so I'll spiritual weapon. I'll just cast it at a second level. You know, put it behind uh, our friendly giant spider there. Wow. <laughs> Double critical <laughs> fail? Double crit fails on the spiritual weapon attack. For 10 the total. Sad, the sad thing is, is if you had rolled a 2, I would say go ahead and roll the bless because it may make a difference. I forgot I got bless. I might as well roll a bless either way. Just to see. That's a one. So <laughs> AC eleven will miss a giant spider. Okay, that's fine. That's gonna be it for Destin then. And then we're gonna call it here due to tech issues, and I will deal with getting it back around to a player's turn or an attack on a player. Uh, before next session. That way it's not so boring. Okay, so yeah, make sure to check back next Sunday where we will pick up in the middle of this combat encounter here. And uh, yet again, we are beginning a session in the middle of combat. And uh, back to normal. Yes, and then don't forget to join us tomorrow night for what should be Defenders of the Fail. Um... Otherwise, we'll have uh, more bonus stuff going on. We'll see what, what's but, happening with that. But I'm g all good if Ron runs to him. Yeah, so, yeah, everyone everyone's happy in one way or the other. Uh, and then, yes, we missed this last Friday due to tech issues on my end. Um, my internet service provider refused to provide service that day for 10 hours. Uh, so Dragonlance, unfortunately, did not continue this past Friday, but will continue this Friday. So, well, well. so make sure to check in with us right back here for that. So we're going to raid out. Um, please stick around for the raid. You get more channel points. Nobody nobody redeemed Tell a Joke. Again, that's some kind of a record. Uh <laughs> I'm so surprised whenever Rib Rob showed up that uh, I don't he did not do it. Rib Rob shows up and he did not did not do the joke, but all right. We're it's because Rib Rob doesn't want to hear any of my stories. Yeah, maybe. You'll have, you'll have to ask him. All right, we're out of here. We love you guys. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Thanks. Next week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for running. Thanks for playing. Take care. All right, you guys have a good night. Good night. Good night.